Hi, my name is Beth Naz and I'm the Head of Sale for the Islamic and Indian Sales at uh, Christie's Auction House in London. And our next auction will take place on the 28th of October 2020. I thought I would um, show you guys a couple of my favourite lots and um, highlight selections of the upcoming auction. Um, on the table here we have a collection of four tiles. They're known as Isnik tiles because of the town they were created in, which lies about 90 kilometers southeast of today's Istanbul. Um, Isnik tiles were used to decorate both interior and exterior um, of architectural elements such as schools and mosques. And today, uh, if you go to Turkey, you can see so many of them in situ surviving in monuments from the 16th, 17th century or even earlier. Um, they are wonderful examples of Islamic art. They have so much color. They have beautiful patterns. They are dated according to the colors that were used because every few decades, the uh, artists managed to figure out how to include different um, colors within the design program. So that makes it easier for us to know when they were made um, quite precisely. And even little fragments that have survived. For instance, this example, um, these are even precious because they're still extremely beautiful, but it's only a fragmentary example. This was actually mounted in Europe um, in the 20th century. It belongs to Henry Jacobi collection, who was a wonderful collector of Islamic art and carpets. And um, yeah, they have many different designs and patterns. These, um, the two vases behind you, are they also his neck? Those are really uh, wonderful examples, actually, Kira, because in the 20th and 19th century, um, a lot of European artists were so inspired by Islamic design, especially Islamic wear. So the patterns you see over here are typical of what you would find on earlier examples of tiles or vases and dishes, which were used in um, everyday wear, really. Um, so they are actually European, but inspired by Islamic design. Ah, oh, amazing. Um, and you've got another painting you wanted to show us as well, right? Yes. This painting over here is um, from the Royal Atelier uh, under Nasr al-Din Shah Bajar. And it's been attributed with the help of um, a wonderful scholar in this field called Leila Diva to the court artist known as Yahya Ghaffari. Yahya was um, the son of Sani al -Mulk. His works are exhibited in Iran in Gulistan Palace. There are very few known examples of his work that have come up for auction, but this particular scene is beautiful because if you have a look um, at the way he's used the perspective and at the scene, that he's depicted the use of the chandeliers, this kind of European style of painting. All of this was inspired by Nasr al-Din Shah's visit to Europe, especially his first visit to the Versailles. And you can actually see the king right here in the corner, um, kind of taking a look at the display that they have um, arranged with all of the courtiers and attendees bowing in respect. If you look at, um, there's a print of his visit in Versailles um, in the 19th century, which has very similar um, interiors. And you can see how he was so uh, inspired by Europeanized ways of dining. So do you know where, um, where the scene is? Yes, actually, the scholars that helped us write um, the essay on this painting managed to discover the site it was called the Naranjastan Gardens in Golistan Palace in Tehran. Sadly, it no longer exists. It was demolished, but um, it was inspired by the Shah's visit to Europe, one of his first visits after 1873. The memoirs of one of the court's autobiographers who actually describes the exact location, the use of different trees, the, the windows, the tile works and the fact that it had depictions of European ladies um, all throughout the walls, which you can see kind of here. It's got such details going on. The more you look, the more you see. So it was wonderful to have that depiction of the um, monument that's no longer there. And this crystal mount, uh, fountain at the bottom was a gift from Queen Victoria to the King, oh, wow. which was highly prized and he wanted to have it as a centerpiece when guests uh, walked in. 
so it's it's a wonderful discovery in many ways 